I love everyone I know, and I'll never stop loving them. That was not prompted. Feeling the power of the mountains, wanting you to belt out some beautiful feelings. What state are we in? Virginia! What's our campsite number, darling? B-52! 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 What's the name of this campground again? <laughs> uh, let me think, let me think. Newport News State Park. The reconstructed and restored buildings, tradespeople, and actors all make Colonial Williamsburg a time machine back to the capital of Virginia on the eve of the American Revolution. It is the largest living history museum in the world. I think that's the way in, go for it. Ah! What are you trapped? Uh, we made it. Governor's Palace, we're about to see George Washington. We were able to see America's first president, George Washington, give a speech. Let us never allow our affairs of state to be driven by too strong of an affection or for that matter too strong of a hatred for a foreign nation. You guys just saw that guy talk. What's the name of this horse, Maya? That one's Maya. <laughs> Knitting made me patient. Spinning made me industrious, and weaving made me humble. <laughs> I know how this was used. There's a famous pirate called Blackbeard, and his pirates were imprisoned here, and then they were later hanged. Suspected runaway slaves were kept here. People with mental illness. Maya, you want to demonstrate the toilet? Oh, there it is. This little tool here is called an optic mold, and it's Whoa. what gives me like the surface texture. So if you just take sand and you melt it, you're going to get the natural color, which is green. So what happens if they cool too fast, guys? They shatter. They Got shatter. It. Yep. <laughs> so the cooling process is part of the making process. My mom said we're like sailors with a friend with a girlfriend in every port. We, we've got friends all over this country. We're lucky to have such a great community of friends all over the place. Hi, Hi how are you? Oh, good to see you. Our hosts in Virginia are the parents of friends we met while living in Myanmar. Salmon dinner with salad and roasted veggies. Another amazing dinner from amazing hosts. Just gonna start my hike up Old Rag in Shenandoah here. Who's that trip trapping on top of my bridge? Oh my gosh! I'm just a little Billy Goat Gruff. I'm small and skinny. You wanna wait for my bigger brother coming who's much more tasty and has more meat on him than me. There he comes. Yeah! We're hiking again! Woohoo! You guys still have your hiking legs? All those workouts when we don't have an opportunity to hike pay dividends on days like this, huh? All those squats are paying off now. Dance like a butterfly flitting in the meadow, says the Junior Ranger book. Almost eight miles with a rock scramble. That added to the difficulty. 
Boom. Wait, squirrel. squirrel. Flying down. Our kids are over here drawing. They're making some gifts for their hosts. I'm doing. I'm drawing this scene right here. Like, to the kitchen. Mm -hmm. I'm drawing a cycle of a plant and a butterfly. So two cycles. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Ooh, that is just excellent. Mwah. It's unbelievable. We are doing our second and last hike in Shenandoah. Not Shenandoah, Shenandoah. Meadow Spring Trail to Mary's Rock, Maya. Guess what trail we're back on? We are on the Appalachian Trail. One of the longest footpaths in the world. Why do you like to hike long distances so much, my mom asked a few months ago. Mountaintops have always been alluring to people. They gift us an important escape to a simpler life a life outside capitalism's relentless push for productivity. Your goal is to just put one foot in front of another until you've earned the summit and taken in the expansive views of our world, feeling awed, renewed, and inspired all at once. I think I'll just stay here for the next hour till sunset. USGS geological marker out here. Give me a big fat old kiss. <laughs> So here's the Civilian Conservation Corps tale. Man, they did a ton of work. So about 90 years ago, there were 10,000 people up here helping build the, this famous road, the Blue Ridge Road. Why did they work so hard? One, so that people would have jobs, and two, so that people could simply enjoy this beautiful mountain range. You lived in McLean, which is close to the DC area, right. and then you chose to move out here. And what's your favorite aspect of living out here? No traffic, it's quiet, it's dark. I can see the sky at night, which I love. Very peaceful. My husband retired after 30 years of working at the Federal Reserve. This is a gift that is a traditional gift when people like that retire. It's a dollar bill from each of the 12 Federal Reserve banks signed by the president of the bank. And now we're going to hang out with Rich and he's going to take us on a two mile trail that he has built. This is honestly probably one of the things I will do to keep myself in shape when I am in my 60s and 70s is build some trails. It sounds like the main reasons you built this trail are it's fun, it's good exercise, and it helps you connect with your property and the land. Yeah, I'd say that's, that's a good summary. Getting a little taste of trail maintenance tail. Oh, all right. Good work, dude. What do you want to yeah, look at how it's just swallowed the barbed wire. Today is our last day in Virginia. Shenandoah. Shenandoah. Squirrel. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> um, flying <fine>, squirrel. <laughs> our experiences in Colonial Williamsburg reminded us of how connected people used to be with the makers of the goods they purchased. Our hosts in Shenandoah gave us a peek into what a meaningful life of retirement may look like for us, as well as easy access to a much appreciated reunion with hiking, our favorite way of experiencing our national parks.